Hi, I want to talk about how we learn. So this kind of applies to anything we do in life. It's not necessarily just for music students, um, but I'm going to address you guys who are trying to learn an instrument or you are learning an instrument and you're trying to get better. Um, and you find yourself struggling with absorbing information. Literally just now, I finished a lesson like 15 minutes ago, he felt that he couldn't apply things that we were uh, stu studying and learning during our lessons um, in, um, in a musical setting, so he just couldn't play that those ideas with his band and he just he would revert back to um, boom, drop, boom, Job. Even though we've been working on some linear stuff and really cool stuff, and and I asked like, but do you feel that it's because those ideas don't fit the band? And they were like, no, no, they would fit them perfectly. We play uh, original songs, so I can play whatever I want. Blah blah blah. I just don't feel like those ideas come out, and that's because he was not aware of how we learn. How does the brain work? and why those ideas are not being absorbed so he can't then recall them and just play them whenever is necessary that's necessary our brain memorizes sounds and movements what does that mean it means that for you to memorize something you have to listen to it so you memorize the pattern and also you need to re repeat it enough times so you memorize the movement this is what we call muscle memory but really what it is is that we are memorizing a motor function much like walking you have to repeat it countless times until you can just call it and your limbs just do it we weren't born walking so why would you assume that you should be able to just play a paradiddle or a linear pattern or a jazz rhythm just because you understand it intellectually. One thing is to learn with your frontal lobe here. This is your intelligent section of the brain. But in order to just recall that pattern, that movement, that exercise, whatever that might be, and just call it, and on cue, you play it, that information actually needs to leave the frontal lobe and go to where we memorize motor functions. So basically, when we avoid or when we don't repeat an exercise enough times, it just stays in your frontal lobe, which means the next day, bye-bye, it's gone. It's not going to be memorized. It's just something that someone told you. Like, imagine a conversation. You have a conversation, you had a conversation with someone yesterday, I'm assuming. Do you remember exactly word by word what was said? I don't think so. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You kind of remember the, the, the subject of that conversation, but you cannot remember exactly what that person told you. It's the same thing with musical patterns. You might remember the concept, but can you still play every single note? And if you can, can you play it with the clarity necessary to, for you to be confident enough so you can play it with your band? Ask yourself this question, is it recordable? Can I grab this idea and just record it in a studio without getting fired? So here's the thing. First of all, we gotta memorize what the pattern sounds like. So sing it to yourself. Say it, sing it, whatever you want. If you have notes, read them and sing them. Memorize that pattern. And even when you play it, try to vocalize it. That helps me loads. It's almost like when I'm studying for an exam, and I write it down and I say it out loud, it kind of reinforces that information. The second thing, memorizing and, and activating the muscle memory or procedural memory. And to activate that muscle memory, you have to repeat something a million times. Okay, maybe not a million, but many, many times. The reason for that to be is because we need to teach our body, our limbs, what the motor function is. It's uh, like walking, like I said, brushing your teeth, uh, driving, shaving, playing a parody. They all must be in the same category and department in the brain. Or else you're going to be trying you're going to try to intellectualize the exercise. 
and your thinking is gonna get in the way. Why? The reason why a lot of students can't play fast enough, according to their own standards and expectations, is because they are thinking. And you can't play faster than what your brain can keep up with. So what do you do? You get rid of the brain. You have to memorize it so then you can play mindlessly. At least when it comes to the motor function. So at this point you stop worrying about quantity and since you're now playing the motor function mindlessly you can be mindful in regards to the quality. So when you get that to that level, you have the muscle memory going on and you can just play it in your sleep. This is when you should focus on how it sounds and start being the judge of your quality, not the quantity. Okay, so I hope this video helps you guys to refocus and start practicing with a little bit more purpose. I've been pushing that agenda a lot lately. I know that and I'm sorry. Soon I'm going to start talking about business and uh, what the future of my own projects is and what I have planned for the future. There's going to be a couple of events that I'm going to be talking about um, rewiring the brain for success uh, and becoming a more efficient uh, musician and most importantly a more efficient human being and just being happy. Uh, I'm not a drum god. I love what I do and I try to do it really well. I don't go around pretending to be someone that I'm not, but I'm really, really passionate about the way the brain works and I love to share this with my students and see the results because the results are incredible. I see students going from not having any kind of work ethic and, um, and having a lot of passion, don't get me wrong, they're not lazy, but it, it's just a routine. Routines are not, uh, practice is not, and there's a lot of playing, but not uh, enough results and then we start addressing the brain and we barely play any drums in our lessons and this all almost these le these lessons became like these therapy sessions um and um, and the results are outstanding i mean I, in a couple of months i see the, these students just playing a million times better uh, and that pleases me loads so i guess that's why i've been pushing this mental and psychological agenda so much lately I hope it helps you guys. By the way, if you have any questions for me, please ask. I know I went on holidays a couple weeks ago, but I'm back. Ask some questions. See you guys later. Bye-bye.